This is the real life of James CD. And I happen to be the real James Heaney. This is Hello, I'm James Heaney, and this is a vlog. Uh, I've been having a real hard time keeping up with the vlogs for several reasons. First of all, I've had more auditions in the past month than I've had pretty much all year. And I've been getting a lot of callbacks. I can't really tell you about the ones that I've auditioned for. You sign non-disclosure agreements on them. But I've had a callback every week, which is pretty good, actually. Um, a callback means that you did a good audition and they're bringing you in to see if the clients, the clients are the people that run the advertisements. They show up and so the first, here's, here, here we go. I don't, I don't know if any of you guys have these experiences, so I'll share it with you. When you go to an audition, you, if you have an agent, you're going to get notice of the audition typically the night before. And it'll say what time and where the place is the audition is. So you go on a trip, and if you're like me, you're taking a bus, and it's a pain in the ass to get to Hollywood from Venice. And you show up there, hopefully, on time, if not five minutes early. And you sign in on a piece of paper with your phone number, your agent, and this and that. And on a good day, you go in roughly 10 minutes after you sign in. On a bad day, you can be sitting there waiting for two hours. That's the worst it's ever done for me, two hours. Um, typically, it's like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so you sit and wait. And then you either have lines or don't have lines. Sometimes it's just facial reactions, like be surprised, be confused, be angry. And I, I got some good facial expressions. Or you'll have a line, like, it's, there's never more than, like, two or three lines. It's so easy to memorize. Um, and you go in, and on an original audition, there's one person in the room, and it's somebody that is running a camera. And they just basically tell you to uh, stand on a blue line. 99% there's a blue piece of tape. And you look into the camera, and you say, Hello, I'm James Heaney. They always ask you, are you willing to shave if you have a mustache? And my answer is always, anything for a dollar, or just put it in my mouth and I'll do whatever it takes. I mean, I don't say that, but I mean it, and I show it with my eyes and do this. I'm like, yeah, I'll shave. Uh, so whatever it takes. Nobody's ever taken me up on that gesture. So... Uh, and then you do your lines. And sometimes they'll be like, can I get profiles? And it's just basically you step like this, you go like this, and then you go like this. And they never want to see the back of your head, which I'm glad because the back of my head doesn't look that great. I don't even know if you guys know what the back of my head looks like that much. Let me show you. <clears throat> I'm sure that at first glance it looks like perhaps there's a bald spot. And that's possible. I don't know. Maybe. I there's no balding in my family, and if I went bald, I'd be okay with it. I mean, this hair is something, but it's not what makes me. What makes me is the face. It's the face. And I'm not saying I'm a good-looking face. I'm saying that it's a face that I know how to wield like a sword in Dark Souls. So, uh, you give the profiles, you do the thing, and then they will typically have you say the line and act it out however it is. And for me, because I've done so much stage work, Nine times out of ten, we'll be like, oh, that's great, yeah, that's great. Let's do it again, but let's try not to be so big. We want this to be a little more real. And I've gotten better and better over time of taking that second one and toning it down a bit. And um, so if it all goes well, a couple, they'll, they'll say, are you available for callback date and are you available for shoot dates? And if you're doing well, you'll get a callback, and they don't tell you until the day before. So I had a call back yesterday for something where I was playing a security guard. I can't say what the commercial was for. But original audition was just facial expressions. Then when they brought me back, there was like ten other people that were being called back, and it was all for security guards. I'm the only, I'm one of three, three guys didn't have their own full-fledged like security suit with like walkie-talkies and handcuffs. And anyways, I go in there, and they've changed it for the call back. And they're like, well, we've added a line for you. We want you to say... Who's in there? So, but when you do a callback, it's not just the person behind the camera. And that person by the ca behind the camera isn't even usually a casting director. It's just like a casting associate. Um, but with a callback, you always have the casting director there. And 
more often than not, you have four or five people that are strangers, and they're what we call the clients. Um, they represent the company that is creating the commercial. And they sit there and smile, and they've always got food, and they're always having a good time. And then you do uh, typically three or four takes of what it is to see if you have what it takes. So uh, in this one, the, they had me first come in. And here's a little tip that I do. I haven't booked anything, so if you're a commercial actor, don't look for me for tips. But this is what I do for my gut. Is the first time I do a take, I do things the way I want it to be. Because I know that I'm going to get a second take and a callback. And if I adjust to what they say, it's going to be good. So for the first one, I came in as a security guard, and I was kind of scared. I was like, is somebody in there? Who's in there? And then the answer is like, come out here now. Come out here now. So I did scared. And they're like, oh, great job, great job. Uh, this time we want you to not be afraid. And I knew they were going to say that because that's how the, the thing is written, but I just wanted to show different things. So then I do the act, and I come in, and I'm like, <clears throat> like who's in there? Come out here. Don't make me come in there for you. And so then I get another take, and they're like, all right, great, great. This time, we want you to be super casual until you get there, and then you want to be angry. And it's like, I'm super casual. No, I, that's not how I'm casual. But anyways, I walk in casual, and it's like, who's in there? Get out here right now. Don't make me come in there after you, because if you do, you're going to regret it. And uh, so I had, I had the group of people that were the clients laughing pretty hard. And um, the thing is, is that I don't look, I'm not your average looking person. I don't fall in the super good looking category. And trust me, I, I know I look pretty good. I'm not denying that. But there's a difference between me and your standard uh, cookie cutter model man. And then there's also the people that look weird. And... So I go into the category of weird. So either these people are going to like having a security guard that kind of has a fro and kind of looks awkward. I don't look like a tough guy, even though underneath this shirt I am. And you've seen it. Don't deny it. I'm a tough guy under this shirt. That's it. I'll take this off. I'm going to show that I'm a tough guy. I know you're doubting me. You're like, you're not a tough guy. You should see that. Come out here now. I didn't mean to scare you, and if your kids are in the room, sorry. But yeah, so I kind of fall in between. If I get a role, which I'm crossing my fingers I do because I'm running out of time, people, it's going to be because they are opting for the weird guy. Sorry, I'm a weird guy. So that's what I've been doing a lot. Is I've been getting, I get typically one or two auditions a week, and then one callback. And the callbacks usually take more time because when you get called back, although there's fewer people, they keep you in the room longer to work with the clients. Ah, this turned out to be a better vlog than I thought. When I started this video, I didn't know what I was going to talk about. Um, hopefully the construction ends because I really want to start recording, but I can't start recording until like 6 o'clock at night because that's when they work till. All day long, slamming the walls. What are you going to do? This is the